YouTube, what it do? What's good? Hey, we got the bikes outside. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we just put 110 octane in these bad boys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the spark plug, probably clean it off a little bit more with sandpaper, clean off any of the, the soot and carbon build up on the spark plug. It literally takes no time at all. And we're gonna do a quick oil change. We got that castor oil, that good stuff, synthetic, that we about to um, put up in these bad boys. But before we can do our oil change, we gotta warm these bad boys up. Yeah, we're probably just gonna go like right in the circle, nowhere far or whatever. Just need to warm them up. That way we can get all the oil to, you know, get it nice and warm so it'll fall to the bottom of the oil pan and we can get it up out of there. You know what I'm saying? We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that, that old rotten, no good oil, right? You wanna get it up out of there. Now tell me, get it up out of there. You feel me? Get it up out of there. Say, no cap. Anyway, we'll be back in a second. And he's off. Just take this screw right here out. Can you uh, think that y'all can see? It's right there under the bottom. It's the same thing on that. And what size are we using? 11 16th. We just take that off. Here. Don't touch anything. It's still hot. The pipe, everything is hot. Don't touch anything. This is actually too big. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a metric bolt, but I don't feel like going in there searching for my other set. Give me a second, guys. Just take this bolt right here out. And the uh, oil. Make sure you got everything ready because that oil is going to spill. It's gonna come out and it's gonna come out quickly. Just like that. Boom. Ooh, look at that nasty oil. I like to stand my bike up, make sure everything comes out. I don't want to touch the bars yet. <clears throat> I'm just gonna stand this bike up a little bit, give it a little one of these so it can get all the oil out and we'll be back in a second. All right, <clears throat> that's it. We got all of it out. Good. I'm just making sure there's nothing on this side screw. I want yeah, this ice to on your face everyone your clean. clean. All right. You don't want this too tight. All right, the washer that's in between this bolt is, uh, I think it's like aluminum. So you don't wanna mess up the motor. You don't wanna strip that bolt so it doesn't have to be tight. Same thing for this one. I can't really see mine. All right, that's it. Can you see it? The screw is right here. All right, so I already got the screw loosened a good bit. So basically the next thing is taking it out. Now, once you get it loose, one more. Now, once you get it loose, go ahead and unscrew it out. All right, you see it draining? Mm -hmm. Take this little plug out so it'll drain a little bit faster as well. Make sure you get everything out of there. This gives it a little bit of air. You can take that out and it'll start draining a little bit faster. All right, stop it. Show, show the oil first. And what I'm doing is I'm leaning it up, getting, I'm sitting it on as level as I can get it to make sure we get all the oil out. And it looks like we got all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap it back off. We'll get back in a second. All right, so we about to put that synthetic blend in that bad boy. Now it's time out. And we got this right here so we can That's get it in there. Bottle. Yes, sir. I actually forgot what it was called. My man said he knows. If you know, you know. Dang it. Put that funnel in there. Why you? Why put that on? That oil in? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start with his with half a bottle. Why you putting that oil in? It's, um, I think it's three quarters of a quart um, is how much you want to put in this bad boy. All right, yeah, that's almost, that's almost. So basically you want to put, yeah, like three quarters in there. So we'll start off with three quarters. So I got a quart in this one and I got three, three quarters of a quart in the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to test, we'll test that one to see how far or how much we got in that bad boy. Come on. All right, so I put it in there. Screw it all the way to the bottom. Now I'm gonna, and you wanna clean this thing off before you put it in as well. Were you here? Were you here? Back it up. About to clean it. We're almost there. We're at the very bottom of the um, dipstick. So we put three quarters of a quart in here. Now we're gonna put another quarter in here and see how far we've gotten. Now I'm not gonna go too much because number one, it's not, it's not on level ground. So I'm not gonna fill it up. And I know from experience that these only take about a quart. It takes less than a quart to fill these up. So I'm not gonna fill that whole thing up until I get it on level ground and check it again. Oh, 
Yep. All that. right, so <laughs> we're back to the 125. My boy dozed off there. All right, three quarters of a quart. You want three quarters of a quart. All right, and that's three quarters of a quart for this guy. So I'm gonna put him on level ground and see how far we've gotten. Yeah, basically we already got all the oil in. I put about a quart in it. Back up, your hair is in my hand. Back up, I put a quart in. And yeah, if you can see, I don't know if y'all can see that that well, don't move, but that's on the money. That's where you want it like halfway up. I already checked that one. That one's at the same thing. So uh, that castor oil, they kind of skimp you on the bag. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They don't They don't fill you. They don't give you a full quart. I can tell you that now. But anyway, basically it takes a full quart to fill up these bikes. That's that, we good on that. So we'll get back to y'all in like two seconds. We're gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up. I'm gonna put that oil back in those bottles and um, dispose of them properly. You do not want to get that into the grass. If y'all look over there, show them. There's nothing in the grass. I don't play no games. We're we're just gonna clean this up. This is where I did the oil change. If you can see, we spilled no oil. Show the ground, all right? You don't see no oil, right? Come over here. <clears throat> Here's the um, thing. So basically, all we're gonna do is put that oil inside of those and then um, take that back to AutoZone and move on with life. You know what I mean? All right, we got the um, oil change. The oil is A1. So now it's time to change the spark plug. I'm not changing the spark plug. I'm about to just show y'all what I do. All I do is pull those bad boys out <clears throat> and just clean them off. I have spark plugs in the house, but there's no need for me to change this. I'm just going to clean off the carbon. That's what you want to do. You want to clean off all the black stuff. That's carbon. Clean that off. That's called a carbon. It's soot. Some people call it soot. Some people call it carbon. But you want to take it off. And let me put the extension on. You can do yours. And I'll do mine. All right. And you should know how to take it. I mean, everybody should know how to take off a spark plug. It's not rocket science. Boom. All right. Get that out of here. Spin it a little bit. Here, Ty, I'm going to need you to record. Ooh, that wind feels good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That's God. <laughs> All right, so whenever you um, put high octane in your, your whatever bike you have, they'll turn kind of white. And if you look right there, it's kind of like that white, that grayish look or whatever. So you can tell I still got regular gas and I got that good stuff in there. So we're just gonna take the sandpaper, clean it off. Hopefully this wind doesn't mess this video up. I'm really hoping so. But y'all know we're newer YouTubers and we're trying to get right. So just bear with us. Hope that. Basically, you just want to get in between there. Get this back. Just get all the black stuff. Get as much of the black stuff off as you can. That's basically how you just basically finesse a new spark plug on your bike. It's actually making it even better, in my opinion. All right, can you see the difference? I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but you want the, you want right there, those, that spot, that you want the in between to be clean. It's like a little electro type thing right there. You want that little space to be nice and dirt free. Then you stick her back in and you're good. A little sixteenth of an inch turn and you're good. And then put your coil back on, you're good. All right, move it right over to his. I'm gonna break it loose because it's really hard. Here, pull that off. It's really hard to do. I'm not even gonna lie. Pull it off. I told you. See, what I do to break things is very simple. I just pop it. Get one little pop. You wanna hold this too while you're doing it so it doesn't wiggle. The pipe isn't hot no more. All right, and you could do, do it like this just so we can get it done quickly here. Back to you. I'm trying to get it. You want to clean like where the electrode is and the little piece on the top. You want to get in between. See how it get? You see how it sits in between? You want to get the top of that part. You want to just just get it as clean looking as you can get it. All over. I'll turn the camera back on when he gets it all the way done. All right, my guy got it. Let me see. Let me take a look at your work. And don't be scared to wipe it on your shirt. Get it. You know what I'm saying? See, my man got that bad boy looking new. That's what you want. You want to make sure it's on the inside of that. We'll know exactly where it's got that. We'll check it and we'll be back. Once we check it, we'll go ahead and throw it back in and crank it up and I'll let y'all see where we're at. Done. We're done with this. You're about to go ahead and get that first start. You want to crank yours up first or you want me to crank mine up? I'll crank mine up first. All right, tie your shoestring. Trying to tell you, you get that bad boy it's caught in the chain. <laughs> That's your ass, Mr. Telephone or Delivery Guy or whatever they call it on um, Friday. Guy. Yeah. Boom. Boom. All right. All right, Mr. Delivery. All right, crank that bad boy. Let's go. Turn it on. 
Turn it on. The red thing, yeah. Take that bad boy. That's how I know. Like I said, y'all, he, he has that messed up thing. Hold on, the kickstand is down. The kickstand is down. There's a safety feature on real motorcycles. They won't move. <laughs> they won't even crank up if the kickstand is down. This don't have that. Hold the handlebar. Go ahead. We're just... Yeah, the GoPro is running out of memory, but what it, how they ride inside? Back at y'all next video, man. We'll holler at you. Boop.